Hi, I'm Elena Pakutova, curator at the Rubin Museum of Art in New York. Although the museum is temporarily closed, we opened a new portal online to be in touch and to share insights into the art in our collection, which in turn can help us understand how we can continue to live our lives healthy and with more compassion. This is spring, so in our last offering with Dr. Tony Tidwell, we are going to look at the painting from Tibetan medical set that depicts conduct. This painting depicts a view on conduct, or actions and habits, daily, seasonal and occasional, as one of the four main ways to stay healthy and live longer. The daily behaviors include traditional Buddhist conduct and also ordinary actions like travel, physical work, sleep and sex. You also see depictions of seasonal behaviors that highlight the elemental influences of the seasons and these also impact our individual constitutions. And now we go to Dr. Tony Tidwell who will share some insights on how we can maintain health informed by Tibetan traditional medical practice on a daily basis. Hi, my name is Tani Tidwell. I am a Tibet medical physician. I'm also a researcher at the Center for Healthy Minds here in Madison, Wisconsin. And I'm really so happy to be here with all of you right now, especially in these challenging times. And to be also entering into a time in our natural world that is about renewal and regeneration and a new sense of hope. I think this is what we all need right now. And luckily at this very time, spring is coming and we can really use that feeling of being cooped up inside and um, having that stagnation that's been coming through the last several months of winter the early and the late where we're feeling a little restless and needing to get out that we're really coming into this time. So uh, some of you may have been in your spring season in your various geographies for a little while already. So this is really about helping to um, create a little bit more lightness, a little bit more warmth and a little bit more vigor into um, your bodies and your minds and your surroundings. So in Tibetan medicine, we use four approaches to cultivating health and well-being and so this is through the diet and nutrition uh, through our lifestyle and our daily behaviors and in the tonka that elena just introduced you to this is really illustrated beautifully where these different areas of our daily behaviors are are depicted and so in the daily behaviors we really look at during the time of day which kinds of behaviors do we want to cultivate with our body, our speech, and our mind that are tuned into the rhythms of the day. So at what time should we really turn within and be more silent and reflective? At what time should we go out and really be connecting with people, our mundane work, using our speech more actively, right? And what are those rhythms also for our mind, for the introspection or through the deep investigation or thinking through things or just kind of quietude? And so there's four areas that I'd like to uh, invite you to explore with me as we start welcoming the spring. And that's in the area of diet and lifestyle, as well as medicine as food, and then just our natural home and surroundings of how to cultivate this kind of springtime mind of gently cleansing and opening up the opportunity for renewal in the spring. So in terms of our diet, some of the tastes that we want to be cultivating in foods is a much more warming uh, taste. So this is more gingers and turmeric, uh, garlic and onions, and even just some of the spicy foods. So our capsicums and our peppercorns, the black, white, green, pink um, peppers that we can put and really having fun with a lot of our spices, kind of those warming spices, the cumins and the corianders and a lot of our garam masala uh, mixes that have a lot of these rich spices of um, 
of warming, warming herbs. And then looking also at how we can give our gut um, some of that ease and that digestive capacity. So a simple drink would just be a ginger lemon honey. So you have the ginger, which is that warm, you have that lemon, that's a sour, and then you have the honey, which is actually a warming quality to help dissipate that stagnation that's accumulated in your gut. And then exercise, whatever your baseline exercise or activity is, is bringing kind of stepping up um, a level of invigoration and activity. So more brisk walking, a little bit more um, vigor to your jogging. If you like sports, if you like dancing, just really um, bringing more of that activity to the body. And you can even do that manually by as you go outside, you can even pat down your arms, give your chest a little gentle light tapping even on the lower back and that helps to stimulate the immune system, stimulate the lymph. We'll even take a pea powder, a lentil powder, and actually rub it on the body after a massage to kind of help bring it alive. Um, some people use lymph brushing as well. And you can even use a rough towel to do that. And then finally is our home environment. So in our home environment, usually spring is a time for deep cleaning. Um, but I think right now many have already done that because of the virus. So many have already taken stock of how to keep their spaces hygienic, really clean and sanitized. But I invite you to also bring in some of these natural uh, aromatics and fragrances that can help to bring in that sense of springtime and renewal. So freshly potted flowers, bringing in some lavender from outside. And for those of you who might not have access to that, even a lemon, taking the rind off of that, peeling it off, putting it in a bowl, putting it on your table and giving that nice sense um, of freshness, citrus, um, that can really bring in the sense of um, a fresh breath inside. And then for those of you who live in um, near natural spaces where there's a really rich bird life, just hearing even the dawn symphony of all these new voices that are coming online in the morning with that beautiful dawn chorus can help give the body and the mind and the spirit the sense of the springtime, the sense of a new, a new space. So we're raising the heat in our nutrition, we're cleansing and invigorating the body and we're adding fresh life in our homes. So I invite you to join me in welcoming the spring, a time for renewal, a time for cleansing, and a time for regeneration. And for those of you who'd like to continue the connection, I'd like to invite you to also leave your comments just below, and I look forward to getting to know you all as well. Thanks so much.